It stays active, your guest. Yes, no kidding. Well, he got his start as a Harlem Globetrotter in 1962, moved on to become one of the first African Americans to serve on six Fortune 500 boards of directors, and now became a owner of the Harlem Globetrotters. I'm talking none other than the great Manny Jackson. Woo! How are you, sir? Welcome back to the show. Thank you, I'm doing great. Yeah, you doing look great. good. Life is good. Life is good, yeah. You hear the music, <laughs> the iconic Globetrotter. You Great, must have that in your head all Greatest time. song ever. It is. Isn't greatest it? song ever. You know, I used to be, when I traveled with a team, I'd be in the hotel mm -hmm. and I'd be resting. And at precisely at the time that said 9 o'clock, I knew exactly what the team was doing. Really? I started thinking about the song all the time. <laughs> I still do it now. Today. That's, your, that's in your head. Oh, huh? You don't lose it. You don't lose it. <laughs> Well, you have, uh, you have so many uh, great and wonderful accomplishments uh, in your career, and you, you really came up in a, in a tough time. I mean, you were making a name for yourself as a basketball player when on the court they would celebrate you, but off the court because of the color of your skin, they wouldn't, certain people wouldn't. And you, you yeah. fought and persevered through all yeah. of that, and that is sort of, you know, leans to the title of your book. Tell us about yeah. your book, Boxcar. Well, the book talks about rooms. this person, myself, yeah. born in a railroad boxcar. Yeah. And I remember sitting in New York one time at a corporate boardroom. I saw all the mahogany walls around. I thought, how in the heck did I get here from that railroad boxcar? Right. 58 by 10 feet wide, 12 people inside that boxcar. I thought, how did I get here? Yeah. And I decided to write the book. I That's took every step all the way through it. Wow. And so, I mean, when you were in that environment, I mean, did you ever dream that you would have the career that you've had? I mean, you went from playing for the Globetrotters to, to well, owning them, what, 80% of the team? Never thought about it. Never thought of it that way. I had, uh, I had this notion that uh, something had to get me out of there. Mm -hmm. My magic carpet was the basketball. All of a sudden, all the racism, all the trouble in my family, all that stuff got erased when they saw me handle the basketball. I had a good vertical jump, too. Right, right. That helps. And I got the University of Bowling, then education became the ticket. Mm -hmm. And once I got through the education part, I found out that people that get along with other people tend to do very well. And I've met people from all over the world, all walks of life, and they carry me through my corporate career. You've, uh, and you've done amazing things in the world of business. Uh, and now with this book, you were telling me off camera, uh, the proceeds of this book are going to a uh, charity? Yeah, every penny will go to cancer research and to kids' scholarships to university levels, yeah. Wow, that is amazing. Yeah. Uh, talking about your Globetrotter experience, some great memories, you got a great What's your like your fondest memory as a Globetrotter? So many great memories. Yeah. <laughs> so many great memories. Trotting the globe is one thing. <laughs> you know, I, I'll tell you, once we went to Rome, uh -huh. and the idea was to meet the Pope. And I thought, this will be cool. Yeah. And I go to the, the Vatican. I have St. Peter's Square. There's 85,000 people standing out there. Wow. I get to the stand to talk to the Pope, to meet him. I look up, and I realize I don't have a voice. I don't know what the heck to say. I'm, I don't want to say the wrong thing, and I suddenly don't have a voice to say anything. Just nothing. He does all the talking. I'm just, I'm just sitting there like, God, God. It's the Pope. It's the, the Pope. Pope. Yeah. yeah. What do you do when you're sitting in front of the what Pope? What do you do? Right. I can't say I have that experience. Uh, Manny, thank you so much for stopping my, by. My pleasure. Great to see you. The book. Let's hold this up. Read the book. Boxcar to boardrooms. Make sure you pick it up. All proceeds go to charity. Once again, Manny Jackson, everybody. We gotta take a break right now. We've got more of the Daily Boss on the other side. Stick around, we'll be right back.